Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the 35th day of a journey from wilderness to Calvary. A little child went to tell his mother, Mama, I want to meet God. Saying so, this child packed the food, the snacks, and a few bottles of the thumbs up. And as he was journeying, he thought, you know, meet, meeting God would consume a lot of time, and where he thought he will drain his energy, he carried these pet bottles of thumbs up. On his way, he encountered a park, and he went and sat in the park. And there he seen an elderly person who was just with a lot of disappointment looking into the garden. And this boy just picked up the conversation and then he has offered a little piece of bread that he had, the snacks that he had. And this elderly man took that and then as he was eating, he gave a smile to this child. And immediately the child began to feel the reflexes of the smile of this elderly person. And then he said, he gave him again a pet bottle and he could see a big smile on his face. And the child was so happy. And the elder man also was so happy. And the elderly, ma elderly man called this child and he gave a big hug before they could depart each other. This child came back home and told his mother, Mama, today I had lunch with God. Mama, I had lunch with God. You know, when I was sharing my meal with God, there was a broad smile on his face. That smile has brought enthusiasm, life in me. And this elderly man also went home and told his wife. The wife asked him, darling, you look so uh, glaring. You, so, you look so, uh, what do you call, bright in your face. What's the secret? He said, you know, today I met God in the garden and then we both had lunch in the garden well my dear brothers and sisters there's so many people that we meet there's so many people that we give our touch so many people that we hear so many people that we care and put a smile on the face meeting God is nothing but putting a smile on the faces of people Many brothers and sisters, today we find in the Gospel taken from the Gospel of John chapter 13 verses 21 to 23 where Jesus visits the house of Martha and Mary again. And Mary takes the costliest perfume and then anoints the feet of Jesus. And then she goes to the extent of wiping the feet of Jesus with her hair and gives care to Jesus. Pretty brothers and sisters, notice here, Jesus had a lot of tension within him about his death that he's going through. The rejection from all sides, the Jews, the, the Pharisees, scribes, and all those people were trying to kill Jesus. And Jesus was going a turmoil within his heart. And that's where, that's where Jesus visits the house of Martha and Mary and there he receives a consolation and then Martha puts a smile in the face of Jesus what a beautiful thing my dear brothers and sisters and then this is one part of it and the other part of it there is a person Judas Iscariot who discourages this act of Mary washing or, or, or anointing the feet of Jesus he says, you know, this money can be spent on the poor. Although he had no intention of helping the poor, he wanted to pocket that money. But, but, you know, taking the name of the poor, he wanted to take that money. But the brothers and sisters, he wanted to discourage the act of caring. The act of putting a smile in the face of Jesus. That's why Jesus says, you know, the poor are always there. The poor are always there there but I will not be with you for long but the brothers and sisters those people who are in need of us are not there for us very long only we get an opportunity to serve them very few times 
and that's a god given opportunity therefore my dear brothers and sisters a little care a touch can put a smile in the face of those people who are in need of us i extending our hand towards them definitely encourages them it is there we make them feel god it is there that we meet god therefore as we are getting closer and closer to celebrate the sacred mysteries of the resurrection the whole coming week from tomorrow that is from tuesday we'll be listening to the betrayal that jesus faced you know different angles of the betrayal that jesus experienced from his own disciples from his own beloved disciple even amidst that jesus had put a smile on all of us let's meditate kindly kindly watch in the coming days and follow this reflections to enhance the glory and the suffering of jesus if you like this small piece of reflection kindly comment share and like and don't forget to contribute god bless you and have a wonderful day